solace and comfort. The famous English writer C.S. Lewis wrote in his book The Problem of Pain and he says that human beings are ready to ignore pleasure but they insist on attending to pain immediately because I quote, pain insists upon being attended to. God whispers to us in our pleasures, speaks in our consciences, but shouts in our pains. It is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. I quote the last line, it is his megaphone to rouse a deaf world. Indeed, we can ignore pleasure or we can postpone it, postpone the gratification of pleasure. We can try to suppress the voice of conscience for some mischief done because of which we may be suffering, but not pain which insists upon being attended to. Often we hear people in pain calling on God and I'm sure this department over here will be the place where many will say, Oh God, Oh God, when the physiotherapist will give massage or stretch their limbs. And uh, this will certainly be an occasion for us to understand how much we require the one who gives meaning to our existence through pain. God draws us closer to himself. Many people change their lives and somehow become even saints. People like Saint Ignatius of Loyola with a cannonball. Later on, he could found the Jesuit order and that pain and suffering turned the whole face of the church and the society. If you see through the whole past, it is pain and suffering that brings us back to our true happiness. As his megaphone, Lord Speaker, to convince the suffering humanity and others that we need God and one another. I'm sure many physiotherapists who give care to give comfort to our patients will help them also spiritually to connect themselves with their creator. So also the other departments like radio diagnosis or immunohematology and blood transfusion, they help us to rise above our caste, our religion, our religions. Blood flows from one person into all the parts and it also flows into the other and gels well with his or her blood and we thank God that blood does not have a religion. What we ultimately seek is the well-being to save life. If a Muslim or a Hindu or a Christian gives blood to a person of another religion, does the blood change the religion? into him or her. What we ultimately seek is that total holistic good that is there planted in each one of us. Basically all of us are good with the depth of our heart. Peripherally we may be of different ideologies. Blood is life and life needs to circulate not only into every part of our being, but it should overflow into the life of others and thus find true meaning and happiness, healing and comfort within and without. I wish all the best for those who are going to work in these departments and to those who are going to benefit from them. You are collaborating with the giver of life and speaker who rouses a deaf world so that people may go back to God.